is everybody welcome to another beer review and i'm very very much looking forward to this one um because not only not only um it's one of my favorite styles it's also apparently the first ever beer thornbridge ever brewed we've got a classic bitter and we've got a bottle of lord Marples, there you go. Four percent ABV. There's the back side with a little blurb on. I'll read to you. This was picked up from Booths um, in Penrith. I can't remember how much. I think it was just over two quid. I'll read you anyway. It's got Goldings in this. Um, just want to let you just get it in there. <laughs> For as long as I remember it, it's got gold in it. It goes, Lord Marples was the first ever Thornbridge beer, brewed in 2005 and named after Mr. Marples, an aspiring former owner of Thornbridge Hall. Now, Mr. Marples wasn't a lord, so he's kind of like, you know, he was lord in it when he was, the, then when he was there, he wasn't officially a lord, apparently. So he's kind of like, Everyone used to call him Lord Marples, but he wasn't a lord, he was just Mr. Marples. You know, the, it went to his head, in a way. Um, it pours an attractive mahogany, bringing forth flavours of... I'm not going to go into flavours, just a light bit in this in the finish to keep it balanced. It sounds great. The first ever Thornbridge beer had to be a bitter. And of course, since then, Thornbridge have gone from strength to strength. They are... Could I say Thornbridge are a household name? In the supermarket they are, aren't they now? Um, so let's crack it open. Crack it open. And we have the classic Thornbridge crown. Let's get it in the glass like you do. And yeah, it's pouring more chestnut mahogany type. Mahogany more than chestnut, should I say. It's not bottle conditioned. As far as I know, and there we go. Good old classic bitter. You know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, you can chuck adjuncts in a beer and do whatever you want with it. But sometimes a good old classic bitter, it steamrolls everything for me. It does. It just... <laughs> It just does. It just steamrolls. <laughs> In this country, it steamrolls everything. You know, you want to split airs and talk, talk about them in the continent. That's a different ball game altogether. But in this country, a good old classic bitter, it just rolls over everything. Right, got it out of the way. As you can see, mahogany in colour. Head is just dissipating down. Yeah, you get that slight wheat grain. Not wheat grain. Just start this one again. No. Start cerealness. Brandness. In the aroma. So, looking forward to this one. I'm going to go in. Cheers, everybody. Nice subtle notes, slightly dry. Nice subtle notes of honey and hint of caramel or butterscotch thrown in. Um, it's got a dryness to it. And um, I suppose you could think, well, it's a little bit rough and ready. Slight dryness, but it is, you know, a classic bitter. The beer itself feels very balanced in flavour. Um, there's nothing nasty there, but it's dry. It's dry on that back end. Um, and 
I suppose when you think about it, he has got his flaws, this beer. I'll be honest, for me, it's because of the dryness for me. A little bit dry for me. Um, he has got his flaws, but you could say there was, there is room for improvement. And I suppose Thornbridge could have gone down the route of tweaking it. I don't think they have tweaked it. I think they've kept it at what it was. And, um, yeah, it's rough and ready. It's nice. Slightly dry. It's, it's very dry, actually. I'll go again. Traditional in all sense of the word. And I like it. I like it. It's not my favourite bitter. Far from it. But it is a nice, you know, it's a classic bitter. It's exactly what they describe it as what it is. It's it's definitely that. So, for me, I'll say to you lot out there, bitter drinkers especially, go out and try it. Um, it might split opinion. Um... And I think for me, it's the dryness for me, which, which is, you know, which is not doing it. It's 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 just that dryness on the back end. But it's enjoyable nonetheless, boys and girls. Thornbridge's Lord Marples, give it a go. Tell me if you've had it. Um, he gets the thumbs up. He does get the thumbs up. He's a great bitter. Bye bye, better. Um, see you on my next one. Bye bye.